Gee, Sparky, I cannot believe it. Christmas is only a few days away. I wonder what kind of presents Mum and Dad have for me under the tree. I hope there's something good. Hopefully, there will be something for you too. Good night. Deek. Great Scott, Daryl. You know, that sends a chill down my spine. And I have goosebumps all over my arms. Holy screen gems. Even though the kid in bed is only 16 years old. I've still got it. Ha 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 ha. What the heck a Rudy is going on in here? I thought I heard some creepy synth music in here. I also heard a male voice that was so loud that it shook the entire house. Uh oh. Busted. Oh, it's just the Silver Deke logo doing his thing again. Mrs. Kid in bed. Since you are up here, there is something I want to ask you. Yes, Deke. What is it you want to ask me? I keep hearing all this silly Christmas music, hearing people sing those silly Christmas songs, watching Christmas specials on TV, seeing people act in all these Christmas plays, seeing a bunch of lights and flamboyant decorations and trees with decorations and lights all over, people buying stuff that they don't really need and eating awful fruitcake. I'm just wondering what you think of all of it. If you ask me honestly, I think that Christmas is nothing but a big commercial racket to get people to spend money on stuff they don't really need. I agree wholeheartedly, Deke. People just waste their time hanging up lights and decorations. And that Christmas lights are a big waste of electricity. And they also waste their money buying stuff they don't need and that their friends and family don't need either. And I do agree that fruitcake is the most disgusting thing you can ever eat. It makes me want to throw up every time I eat it. Oh come on. I think that both of you don't really have a clue of what the true meaning of Christmas is. Go ahead, Mum. Tell us. Tell us what the true meaning of Christmas is. Okay, here it is, and there were, in the same country, shepherds alighting in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill towards men. Luke chapter 2, verses 8 through 14. Oh my gosh. That is some deep stuff right there. Now I know what the true meaning of Christmas is. And all this time I thought it was a big commercial racket started in 1896 by the Coca-Cola Corporation. <laughs> nope, it's not. Christmas is a once-a-year celebration of the birthday of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's what the true meaning of Christmas is. And that is why the word Christ is in Christmas. I get it now. You're absolutely right. And we should always remember to keep Christ in Christmas. And we must never forget that Jesus is the reason for the season. 
You're right too, Andrew. And that is why we celebrate Christmas every year. Thank you, Kid in Bed family, for this conversation that we've had. It is something that I will never forget for the rest of my life. <laughs> Merry Christmas from Elkins in Oxford Studios.